I want to pose a situation. Say you have users on your internal LAN who need to connect to your servers via SSH, but you also have users on your external WAN who need to do the same thing. Do you just open up SSH on port 22 and be done with it? Or do you worry that leaving port 22 open on the external side of things might invite attacks? What if you could open up port 22 for the LAN and port 2222 for the WAN? You can, and I'm going to show you how. The first thing to be done is the configuration of SSH. This is actually quite simple. Open the necessary configuration file with the command sudo nano slash etsy slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. In that file, uncomment the port 22 line and add a port 2222 line. Once you've made those changes, save and close the file. Restart SSH with the command sudo system control restart SSH. Before you continue on, make sure you can SSH into the server using both ports. To connect using port 22, issue the command SSH user at server IP, where user is the remote username and server IP is the IP address of the server. Now test the 222 port with the command SSH user at server IP dash p 2222, where user is the remote username and server IP is the IP address of the server. First, we block port 22 on the WAN interface with the command sudo ufw deny in on enp1s0 to any port 22. Make sure to substitute the name of your WAN interface. Next, we allow port 2222 on the WAN interface with the command sudo ufw allow in on enp1s0 to any port 2222. Make sure to substitute the name of your WAN interface. If you find this isn't working, make sure to enable ufw with the command sudo ufw enable. 